Hello friends, welcome to our channel NT Academy. So today we will discuss about the post-study work visa in New Zealand. We all know the New Zealand is a very small country near to the Australia, located near to the Australia. It has population of almost about 5 million people with a GDP of almost about 260 billion dollars. Per capita income is about 50,000 dollars. So it's a developed country. Many people would like to go there study there, live there, settle there. So let us look at this topic, post-study work visa for the international student in the New Zealand in this video. Let us begin. So friends, let us start about the post-study work visa in the New Zealand. New Zealand is a very beautiful country. We all know that. It's about its nature, its climate, its atmosphere, mountains, everything about the shapes and all. So the New Zealand is famous for the nature. No, who is there that would not like to stay in the New Zealand? Definitely every one of us would love to stay in the New Zealand and live a peaceful life over there. Before moving, the New Zealand is also a recipient of the num highest number of international students in the, uh, in the New Zealand. Before COVID, there were almost about more than 1,20,000 international students studying in the, in the New Zealand universities. But the number fell to almost less than uh, 20,000, almost about 15,000 after the COVID. But still, the New Zealand is now trying to pick up. That is why issuing and uh, bringing up new, new uh, student-friendly rules and regulations to bring back that numbers into the country. There. Before moving to the post-study work visa in the New Zealand, let us first understand about the New Zealand's education system. The New, Ge New Zealand education system is basically divided into different levels, from level 1 to level 10. They are divided into different uh, uh, levels. Uh, first, they start with the certificate, that is level 1, and ends with the doctorate degree, PhD degree at level 10. In between, there are there. Why I am saying this? Because we need to understand this to understand the post-study work visa because the New Zealand's post-study work visa is very much dependent upon the kind of qualification you have obtained in the New Zealand. So on the screen, you can see that the different level of qualification obtained in the New Zealand. So if you can see that level one to four is for the certificate courses. So if you have done a certificate course that will be counted in the level one to four. Then from level five to six are the diploma courses. So any student who is pursuing the diploma courses will be having the qualification of level 5 to 6. Then there is a bachelor's degree at level 7. So bachelor's degree will be counted at level 7. The graduate certificate and graduate diploma will be counted again at level 7. But the bachelor's honor with the honor degree, specialization something, will be counted at level 8. Postgraduate certificate and diploma will be counted under level 8 but the master's degree will be counted at level 9 and PhD degree at level 10. So this is the classification of the New Zealand's New Zealand's education system. So they are divided from level 1 to level 10 from certificate to doctorate level. Now let us begin. Now to obtain a postgraduate works permit, the post post-study work visa in the New Zealand, you will have to have minimum level 7 qualification. So if you have obtained level 7 qualification, then you will be granted the visa of 3 years. 3 years visa will be granted to you. Or if you have obtained a qualification less than level 7, then your qualification must be listed in the New Zealand's required list. So if your level is less than 7, then your qualification must be listed in the list published by the government of New Zealand. Then only you will get the 3 years post-study work visa. So as of now, from the May 2022, the qualification, the New Zealand is offering 3 years post-study work visa to the international student to come study and work in the New Zealand. Now, what are the documents required to process your post-study work visa in the New Zealand? So you can see on the screen, 
these are the requirement required to process your post study work visa in the new zealand are number one is your identity that you must have your identity identity it should be there it means that you must hold a passport that is valid for at least three months before you apply for the visa second is that you must have the may must be in the good health condition you have done your x-ray tv report your medical examinations done and you are not possessing any kind of physical or medical threat to the population in the new zealand third is the character certificate that is that you are police certification is done along with a good character certificate you need to prove that you have genuine intention of entering into the new zealand so that is proved again like a gte in case of the australia so you have to prove that you are genuinely entering the uh, new zealand with that intention whatever intention mentioned in the visa so that is the purpose then you must have the qualification that i just stated either level 7 or above or if it is below the level 7 then it need to be listed in the new zealand's uh, list government published list so that is the qualification requirement next is the work visa application so you have got the at least about uh, after your completion of your study you have 3 months in case of the bachelor's or master's degree and 6 months in case of the phd degree so you must apply before your visa expires in the new zealand for the post study if you apply later than that after that then you will not be eligible for the post study work visa in the new zealand the last requirement is fund requirement you need to show at least 5000 new zealand dollar in order to show that you can support your living till a decision is made in the new zealand so that 5000 dollar is necessary so these are the documents and requirement for you to show uh, while you apply for the post study work visa in the new zealand now how long does it take it takes almost about 8 up to 8 weeks to make decisions on your application for the post study work visa how much is the application fee the application fee is almost about 700 dollar new zealand dollar that is mentioned on the portal so you have to pay 700 dollar as a application fee for your uh, entire process so i hope you have understood that if you want to apply to the new zealand first of all you need to have the uh, qualification required qualification and then fulfill the other requirements which are listed by the government of new zealand you can visit in the next video i'll make an application and show you how can you actually apply that's what all about the post study work visa in the new zealand please appreciate our work by liking subscribing and sharing our channel on your social media and whatsapp and facebook thank you once again see you in the next video with the another topic